Hello Gemini and welcome to your tarot general reading for the full moon in Pisces. That is going to happen on 30th, 31st of August in your 10th house of career and public image. So emotions at this time around this full moon in Pisces can really impact your professional life. You might consider aligning your career goals with your deeper emotional needs and just finding a bit more fulfillment in your uh, public image. So let's see what the tarot cards have for you. We're going to draw some influences for the full moon in Pisces and then we're going to draw some card, uh, one card from the Herbert Astrology Oracle. This is a new deck, so I'm going to be using the guidebook to, to read the main, um, the main information, right? So the first influence for you at this full moon in Pisces, Gemini is the king of swords. This really is about that mental power, that mental proudness, right? The mental acuity. You have the right things to say. You have the right information. You are very um, empowered to make decisions. You're very decisive. And I feel like there's this power within you to make the right choice, to really decide what's best for you. And um, that also means for others as well. So let's see what what the other um, influences are to signify. So we have the Four of Swords card, we, uh, the Lover's card and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Lover's card is the major arcana in your reading, talking about a balanced situation in your relationship, a balanced, how should I say, a, ba a balanced, acknowledgement of the relationship uh, sort of the same level of engagement in your relationship this the same level of give and take right this is talking about honesty this is talking about um, joining together for a greater goal and this may be that is relating to your personal relationship or your professional relationship with the full moon being in your 10th house this might definitely be something related to your professional activity maybe working with someone that is really on the same wavelength and you kind of understand the aims the goals that you're working towards and with the four of swords here we're talking about careful planning we're talking about strategizing we're talking about considering all the tools that you have at your ability all the skills that you have or even the ones that you haven't considered yet the ones that you need to focus on to develop in order to really uh, determine this the, a beautiful outcome within the situation but you definitely um, are very aware of your goals and your aims and we have the queen of pentacles that might represent the energy that you're working with the queen of pentacles is someone that is very careful with everyone's needs that is very nurturing and very able to provide the support for for people and to really it it's quite the queen of pentacles is a very resource resourceful type of person that can definitely bring in everything you need at the right time and at the right place right it's the right person at the right time and it's definitely the person that knows ex exactly what you need when you need it and shows up at the right time so this um story around this full moon in Pisces Gemini is talking about aligning your goals, aligning your goals with someone, a partnership, aligning your goals and strategizing towards um, a beautiful outcome. And I feel like this is um, coming from a place of mutual understanding, it's coming from a place of you knowing exactly what you want and what you want to put in place and really taking that step forward with someone to uh, put into practice your dream your ambition this is a very powerful uh, reading for you gemini i feel like you're you definitely know what you want and what you need so let's see what the herbal astrology oracle has for you let's see now we have damiana the beloved so this definitely can can signify a connection with someone this definitely can um can signify a relationship based on common goals. So let's see what the, the, the card means. Is, is it really a joined up beautiful energy here? 
so we have 11. Okay, so we're talking about magnetism, attraction, kindred spirits, soulmates, relationship, intimacy, right? So Damiana is a native to Central and South America and is used, its use dates back to the ancient Maya and Aztecs. Traditionally, Damiana is a rejuvenating plant said to restore sexual vitality and strengthen the reproductive system, as well as commonly used for depression and, and anxiety, right? So um, if you want to work with this, right, the astrology rule is Venus and Pluto, and it's quite um, potent around this time. So if you really want to work with plants, with Damiana especially, make sure that you do your research and you um, adjust the plant used to your personal circumstances. Uh, plants are very powerful and if you're really looking to deepen relationships or, or try to align relationships to a common goal, this is really talking about how you can use this energy to open up, to become more um, honest with the other, right? So this is a beautiful sort of energy for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for watching your reading for the full moon in Pisces. I hope this was helpful and hope to see you soon. Take care.